Welcome back. We all know that too much sun can damage our skin. Well, showing us how to care for it uh, when those UV rays are beaming brightly. As somebody who beams bright every day, Aww. Sophie Liana. Thank you so much. So, so, so other than, let's jump into this right away. Yeah, yes. Other than sunscreen. The obvious. Which is, yeah, what, I mean, what am I missing? Okay, so very interesting. You can actually eat certain foods that will bolster the sun protection in your skin up to 40%. This is oh, amazing wow. to me. I had no idea. So about we're fighting it from yes. the inside out. Now. You're, you're absolutely. Okay, like what? Now, the foods that you need to eat are red fruits, specifically tomatoes or tomatoes and strawberries. And they contain an antioxidant which is called an anthocyanin. And this is what naturally boosts the SPF in your skin. Obviously, you need to use sunscreen as well. Yes. But it's quite fascinating. And what you need to do is start eating it about 10 weeks before you're going to really blast your um, skin in the sun. Mm. However, do not forget, we have sun rays all the year round. Yeah. So I recommend eating as many red fruits as you can. A daily all the serving. Time. Good wow. daily. 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 What about carrots? I know that has beta carotene, but it's that, that doesn't it's do it? It's different. No, okay. it's, it's the red. Like it's the raspberries. Red. Well, yes, raspberries, but, but it's very specifically tomatoes, tomatoes and, and strawberries. strawberries. Oh, what about cherry? Strudel. Can I do that? You, <laughs> you, could, you could do a clafouti. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, what yeah. should we avoid? Is there anything we should that. avoid? Oh, yes. Oh. What's that? Alcohol. Get out. Really? Get out. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, alcohol actually <laughs> really? decreases the SPF in your skin, the natural SPF, oh. significantly. So if you're out wow. in the sun and you're having a cocktail, that's going to double yes, and decrease burnt. it. Two vodka shots can decrease your SPF by about 50%. Two, who's doing vodka shots? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> what are we, in college? <laughs> that's a little harsh. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. All right. So um, we got things working. What do we have here? Are we uh... Well, if you have got burned, mm. one of the first things that you want to do, certainly for pain, because it can be extremely painful, mm. run a bath and put in a couple of tablespoons of mm. apple cider vinegar. That will neutralize the pH of your skin and really reduce the pain. Mm. It takes oh. out the burn. My oh, mom always sure. does that. Yeah. The other thing is aloe vera gel. I always keep it yeah, in the that... fridge. We had that in our fridge. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, it's good. chilled. Mm. Yeah. And then you could put a little bit on a little cotton pad, or you can just put it straight on your skin. And rather than buy one of those combinations with all these other ingredients right. in it, just buy, buy the straight organic gel. Could yeah. this be topical if you use shoulders instead of being a whole bath? Yeah, you could. Yeah. Right. Yes, well, you, you could, could put some on a little cotton yeah. pad. But like Because sometimes just the shoulders will get exactly. it. Exactly. Right. This, okay. this is a miracle oh, vinegar. It's, it's great for bee stings, too. Exactly. Yeah. If you have a bee sting in the summertime, yeah. people give it use yeah. this. It's, yeah. Now, this, by the way, what is, is genius. Oh, so. Uh, green tea is your best friend if you have sun damage and to prevent sun damage. So what you can do if you're if you have that sun damage is steep a couple of cups of green tea just with a green tea bag, then keep it in the fridge. You can dip a face cloth in there, then wring the face cloth out and freeze it oh, in wow. the freezer. Uh -huh. All right, and actually this one is a little bit too frozen. Bit. You let it unthaw. This is wonderful for kids because it's so soothing. Let mm -hmm. me show you, Tracy. Yes. And you just pop it on. Onto those areas that, nice? that are burned. Oh, I oh, love yes. it. It's so good. And the tea does yes. what? It just removes. Well, the green tea, what it does is it interrupts the inflammation pathways in the body. Now, this is not just topical, but also from the inside out. Mm. So another little tip here is to actually either drink green tea or if you don't want the caffeine, take mega green tea extract because it's decaffeinated. Oh, it says right on. This is actually great yeah. for anti-aging. I recommend you do the, take green tea every, every day. Oh, yep. oh really? every day. Is okay. that just a pill? It's a pill. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, wow. So, what if you're so far gone, like myself? And you got a lot of skin uh, sun damage already. If it's you happened, think? if you yeah. like me, you had foil behind you. I mean, your what? Hair. Yeah. <laughs> With baby oil. Oil. Baby, yeah. full on baby oil all yeah. over. Then your what you absolutely need is vitamin C in its L ascorbic acid form. Now let's have a look at this. Let's come in close so we can see this container. This is water soluble L ascorbic acid, very inexpensive. You buy it in powder form. You make yourself a little serum, Tracy. This is how you're going to do it. Pop into a little bottle here. I have quarter of a teaspoon. Then I'm going to fill this up with about two tablespoons of aloe vera juice. All right, there's my little serum. And then every single day in the morning on clean skin, everybody can do this every single day. You are just going to spritz it 
Are you ready for an yeah, express? Yes. Okay. Oh, go, go. And by the way, <laughs> there you go. Right in. The Ooh, one, I love it. <laughs> and right here, right here. And here. That's where you get sit down. You're so much. On the decollete. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. And by the way, if you were to buy that at a store, it would cost you upwards of $200. Of so yeah. that's Face, amazing. Face, neck, and chest every morning.